Hello, my people, my lovely fans out there. You're welcome to MDB Creative World. And today, we'll be learning how to make our Zara cap with a double layer design. And um, if you know you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please click on the subscription button and subscribe. And click on the notification button so that you can get whatever tutorials will be posting. For this tutorial, the materials needed is our fabric, our not stretchy fabric, a satin or raw silk. But here, I'm using a George material. And um, we have our majority of our scissors, our Mako, and our foam, half inch foam. That's what we'll be using for this tutorial. The measurements needed for this tutorial for the Mako will be using 4 inch by 20 inches. That is for the Mako. And for the Zara Cap base, we are using 18 inches. We are using 27 inches by 18 inches for the Zara Cap base. But because this is a judge material and it has O on it. We have to lining our lining this. We're going to cut out 12 inch by 21 inches. Then you go to our machine, fold it in like this, and we sew. We fold it in like this and sew. We fold it in like this and sew. So that there will be no... Is how we'll do it. We'll fold them in so that there will be no rough part showing. So when we are done sewing this one inside, you know how we normally do our Zara cap. When we are done sewing this one, I will be back to show you how we're going to place it in this material so when we are done sewing it i'll be back so for the double design on top for that double design on top we'll be using five inch by 30 inches and 10 inch by 30 inches and we have a foam here yeah, four inch by 28 inches and two inch by 28 inches this form will, will be what we enter into this material so we'll go to our machine now turn it side down like this and sew down we'll do it on the both fabric and we'll be back to add our foam inside that is it so when i'm done sewing it i'll be right back so here it is this is the cap we went the marco that we went to line here it is when we have gone to line up don't uh, we have finished lining it we try to notch to know the middle part of it. I already notched mine here. You notch the middle part of it. You will take your fabric also. You will notch the middle part of it. You will notch the middle part of it also. When you get to know the middle part, what you do, you take this middle part here. Attach to this middle part here, go down about three inches. Then you start sewing. First of all, you first of all engage this two edge so that it does not pull from one side to another. After doing that, after you've engaged those two sides, so you sew it down. You take your go to your machine again, sew it straight down to this ending. Then, when you are done sewing it to that ending, you will leave it like this. Then, those two four inches and five inches and seven inches, those two we cut out like this. We are going to fix in our foam inside like this. So, what I did was just to turn it upside down. Then, you stop your foam your foam inside. Make sure this will be at the middle side like this. So I'm done fixing it. 
I make sure the, the length you leave on this side will be on the same side. The space you left on the other side. Make sure they are equal. And we'll place this one like this. This material that you have fixed already. So we are going to use this direction. Place it like this. First of all, sew it down first. First of all, what you will do? Get it sewn down to the base. After that, the next thing we will do, we will place it on the machine like this. And we will get it sewn together. Then we can also like this. When we are done with that, we are through with the cap. So I'm going to do that and I'll get back to you. I will do that and I'll get back to you. So when they are done sewing it, this is how it's going to look like. This is how cap is going to look like. So here we are. After sewing, here is our base, our Zara cap, padded Zara cap. Here it is. So what I'm going to do now, I'll fix it on the dummy edge, fix it on the dummy edge and I'll take my candle glue gun and I'll glue here to it. You can use your needle and thread to do that also but I'm going to just use my candle glue gun. Yeah, it is. If you have maybe some tree music, I just place on this on this part. But yeah, it's our Zara cup, our double padded Zara cup. Yeah, it is. Thank you for watching. If please, if you know you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please click on the subscription button and subscribe to our YouTube channel.